So, a few months back, we all had the chance to lay our hands on Renderman, and this was lovely, with most artists having the chance to try it for the first time when they announced the non-commercial version for all, which also included a Blender variant with all the goodies of Renderman. And about 7 months back, we also saw an interesting set of features which were poised to be available for Renderman 25. And it's quite interesting to say that most of our anticipation and expectations for Renderman has been fulfilled as the award-winning and technologically advanced Renderman 25 from the folks at Pixar is now here and this new release comes with some amazing stuff. And for me, just like many other persons, there are two main features that stands out with this release. And the first one is the Denoiser. Renderman 25 Denoiser is considered to be state-of-the-art as this new production-ready Denoiser has been used over several movies both at ILM, Walt Disney and on Pixar Animation. Developed by the folks at Disney Research with tons of production data set, the Denoiser will drastically reduce render times. With the power of machine learning, the Denoiser allows artists and studios to render with less samples while the Denoiser does the heavy lifting, going from grainy scenes to a clean frame with fully preserved details. So in your next render, all you need to do is to lower your samples and increase your variance and watch as Renderman 25 Denoiser does the magic it's beautiful. And with a simple comparison scene that they've provided, you can see how the quality stays consistent as they go through various samples which includes 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, down to 4. The consistency of the denoiser is so unprecedented as artists will be able to focus on the creative part and render faster when the time comes to hit the final rendering button. Another interesting feature for Renderman 25 is the XPU. Now if you want to go faster, then you have to go XPU. This is what render engines should be built of as XPU uses both GPU and CPU to produce faster and cleaner renders. This hybrid form of rendering is for sure the future of rendering. Initially, XPU was known to only deliver a full feature set of look development and shader creation tools replacing RIS. But with this release having more features like AOV and LPEs for compositing which will be extremely useful for final frame compositing and with the additional volume rendering which now allows for smoke, fire, cloud and explosions to be rendered easily, this in itself is gold as XPU is now a final frame renderer integrated to deliver across different frames. Additionally, Renderman 25 XPU support is now available for non-commercial users. And knowing that this particular feature is now available for non-commercial users to me is the cream of this release. So everyone, regardless of platform and hardware, can now be able to expand and utilize this feature totally for free. And if you're wondering, what about cameras? XPU also supports enhanced camera effects like depth of field and chromatic aberration. At the same time, you can also get motion blur, thin shadows, progressive pixels, and so on. So if you're thinking about working with XPU, this might just be the right time to download the non-commercial version and start testing this. Renderman 25 also ships with some additional features which includes the Material X support for USD workflow which now also includes Houdini Solaris which is Houdini's suite of look development, layout and lighting tool that empowers artists to create USD based scenes graph that goes from asset creation to final render. If you're into MPRs, there is a more impressive stylization set of features for MPRs with a good level of filters and materials that enable streaking across frames and render. There's also updates to Material X Llama, which now supports irradiance effects with improved physical accuracy, a two times faster baking and improved control, a ton of presets for hair, fur, and skin, and improved XPU texture cache for better performance with low memory, and all versions of Renderman plugins have now been updated to the 2021 VFX Reform Platform standard. So, this is it. For those who would like to take a look at this, then you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can download Renderman 25 and start playing with it. And for me, the two major features that stands out that includes the XPU and also the Noiser are the tools that I believe most render engines should have today. So, tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. In subsequent videos, we will talk about how you can play with Renderman directly in Blender like we've done in the past. And for those who like to take a look at how you can get started with that, there's going to be a link in the description and also an end note that will take you to those videos. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.